Okay, so here's our setup, and I've changed it so it's urea. Okay, this time, instead of being 15% potassium hydroxide, it's 14% urea and 1% potassium hydroxide. You need to have the potassium hydroxide in there, incidentally. I've fed it straight into the cell, and it's going into this bubbler here so we can see it bubble out. Now, I do know I need to do the um, millilitres per minute per watt figure. I understand I need to do that but I just want to show you it actually working, which is kind of cool. Now, the system itself is gravity fed, so this line here will line up with the water line here, so the water finds its own level. And I've just made sure that that line is below the gas output ports. That's all I've done. I have also connected it to our homemade power supply that we did in the How to Make a Homeway Homemade Power Supply video. When I got it out of here the first, actually, with those turns on, I was getting something like 6 volts out of it. So I added more turns. So if you look on here, there's now actually 20 turns on there. So I added 20 turns on there, so that at this point, I'm actually getting 12 volts. So once it's gone all the way through, it's 12 volts. I did have to adapt that a little bit. Um, at Urea then you don't need as many amps, so to speak, and that's why you can down that. Uh, but there is our graphite cell, and it is set up now to um, electrolyze urea. So all I'm going to do is turn it on, and then give you a close-up of that. Look at that, I've put a permanent switch in on the live side, on the, the 240 side. And there we go, started the bubble already. Let me give you a close-up. So there's a close-up for you. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so I've been running this for about half an hour or so, and I've been keeping an eye on the temperature of this thing here. It hasn't been getting warm at all, actually. So obviously, it's not drawing enough power to heat that up, which is great news, really, because um, one of the worries people had about was that getting hot. Well, it doesn't. Um, you can make this set up from the information uh, provided on the main channel. That's 100% for sure. But it is going to involve you in some experimentation. And there's been a lot of interest and a lot of people saying that they want to build this graphite cell. And like I say, you can build it from the information that's been given. But if you're really serious about it, then I really recommend that you join the members channel and look at the extra information on this. Because the details of this, exactly how to make those uh, plates, how to put it all together, all that sort of stuff is on the members channel. is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of experimentation and probably more cost than the cost of the membership. So I would recommend you become a member and have a look at the extra information on this because I am also modifying this to try and get a more improved version. But as I say, it is all there, and I hope it was of interest, and thank you very much for watching.